Hi and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show we're going to be painting the body for the Porsche 934. Now if you missed the chassis build episode I'll put a link to it here. This one doesn't look too difficult. It's one colour all the way over so apart from putting in the wind, uh, window masks and the light mask and the indicator masks it should just be blow the car in in the green. Uh, got to paint the spoiler. There's a little bit of black around the spoiler paint the lights that's pretty much it so compared to some of the ones I've done recently this one shouldn't be too much of a problem he says well we'll see um, the chassis I finished the chassis in the last episode there was a few things I wasn't sure about and I had some issues turned out that I had actually missed out the um, washers that go inside to shorten the shocks uh, plastic washers so that fixed that problem also the servo in the last video I wasn't quite sure why it wasn't fitting as per the manual. Turns out that you have to flip it over and move it to the side to create space for the electronic speed controller. So I fixed that. So the car is now exactly how it should be. Uh, so no issues on that front, just a few little mistakes but that was on my part. Let's crack on, cut the body out and then we can spray it. So the first thing I like to do is just to trim off the excess all the way around so I've got it flat and then I go back and start doing a slightly closer cut to the lines and then I do a final cut to the lines. I just like to take my time and do it in stages instead of cutting straight into your lines and having all this extra uh, material just hanging around. So there we have it, a fully cut out and prepped up body, all the uh, edges have been sanded and all the wheel arches are nice and smooth. Next is to put the window decals in and then after that I will scuff up the polycarbonate body with a bit of a green scourer to give it a key for the paint, then we can paint. So next let's get the window masks in. Apparently I have to cut out my window masks. Hmm, that's a bit sucky. Could have at least made it that you... Hmm, okay. Right, that's the cutting out of the uh, window masks, which I thought didn't need cutting out and would cut out for you. But hey, there we go. So that's done. Next, stick them on. Finished. There we go. Perfect. Reasonably happy with that. This kit actually comes with window decals, so you've got a little bit of margin to play with. It's not like you must cut it perfect. You just got to be mindful that you don't go too far. Um, but the, those um, stickers are pretty precise for this body. I've I've had when you do reries and stuff like that that. Um, they're not quite as perfect so you, you lay them up and then they're wrong you lay them up and they're wrong and you lay them up and wrong and, and eventually you just realize that the actual window decals are not perfect where these ones I'm quite happy with that they uh, they pretty much line up perfectly next I have to uh, scuff up the inside I use a green scourer for that and then I've got to clean it out as best I can and then we're ready to paint 
Right, we're all set to go. I've actually warmed the paint because it's a little bit cooler today. So I've uh, soaked the tin in a little bit of warm water just to make sure that the paint is nice and fluid. And we'll give it our best shot. Start off with a nice light one. That's basically it for the first coat. Nice light coat, let it dry a little bit and then come back again. Now the tail to the car is green already, but I'm gonna give it a once over to make sure that it matches up with the actual car paint. It looks to be really close, but I might as well. Much heavier coat on the second one. Well, there you go, it's all painted. All I've got to do now is remove the protective cover, remove the um, window masks and start cutting the stickers out. Should we do the fun bit? Yeah, come on. It's still a little bit wet, but as long as I'm careful, but I love taking the protective cover off. It's part of the best bit. All right, let's lose my gloves. Are we ready? Oh, it's like Christmas. It never comes across on the camera just how gorgeous they are when you take the uh, cover off. But look at that, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, happy with that. All I've got left to do is take the window masks out. I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer because it's still very soft and I don't wanna scratch the paint, otherwise I'd have to repaint it. So I'll give it an hour and then I'll be right back. So there you go, I've taken all the window uh, decals out. It came out pretty good, no serious issues, a little bit of cleanup needed but not much at all. So I'm reasonably happy with that. This kit came with an extra sheet that's separate from the instruction manual as it's a uh, different from the original manual. Because the original manual belongs to the black edition. So you get this uh, supplementary sheet in it. Cart had a chance to dry, so now stickers. I don't usually fall for someone I don't even care who I run from You're on my mind, on my mind And you know I'm broken But you're not the kind, not the kind On my mind, so listen
So it's been a long road, but here we are finally. Whew, there's a lot of stickers on this car and most of the stickers are really long and thin. So you've got to spend ages cutting them all out. And then each sticker is connected to another sticker. And if you don't line the first sticker up, the second sticker doesn't match. It's been a bit of a challenge, but uh, I love it. It's absolutely stunning looking car. It's almost one of my favorite. Oh, is it as good as my uh, Formula One car and my 959? It's definitely up there. So uh, yeah, love it, brilliant. Got the lights in, got the spoiler on. There's a few things that are not finished yet. I'm waiting on parts to come in. The wheels turned up this morning, so I managed to get them on. So these are upgrade wheels. Um, these are not the Tamiya ones. I've got some uh, wiper blades that are actually coming. So I can take the stickers off and put the wiper blades just to give it a little bit more detail. I'm gonna try and source some door handles and some uh, body panel pins just to give it a little bit more of a, a lift. Uh, after that, I'm gonna create a driver insert for this car. Now I picked up a rally insert, but as you can see, it's this designed for a uh, four-door car. So I'm gonna uh, trace out the area, map it out, cut it out. Then once I get it to fit nicely, I'm gonna paint it up because this car really is screaming out for an insert uh, for a driver. Apart from that, waiting on the ECU, that hasn't turned up yet. And the kit came with the standard uh, Tamiya light system, which is the O1. There's an O2, which is more of an interactive one that does indicators, brake lights, uh, and uh, when you accelerate hard, it flashes the lights. So I'm gonna get one of those. So I'm close. I haven't drilled the holes for the body mounts because I love the look so I'm not gonna have posts sticking out. I've actually sent off for some magnet posts. I'm not gonna be driving this car uh, hard at all. It'll probably drive around in the house and that's about as far as it'll ever get. So having some magnet body mounts uh, is much nicer than uh, having the holes. So there will be one more video for this car with all the modifications and the driver insert coming soon. And then once I get the ECU, I will do a little driving video as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.